Hey Sprinters, super pumped to go with you through today's markets. We have a short-term recovery. As expected, the hash rate of Bitcoin has been um, all-time high. The inflow to Bitcoin has been all-time high. The Bitcoin um, institutional money flowing in has been at all-time high, unbroken. Same thing with Ethereum, even stronger in the recovery than Bitcoin. So, as reported in the last days, we were not much concerned. Our line in the sand was at $28,000 and we, are, we didn't even come near that. We are back at $51,000 with Bitcoin. Ethereum is pumping again at $4,400. Some of our friends have done real boosts. So if we go at our top 10, Engine has boosted by 18% in the last hours. Phantom has boosted 21% in the last hours. That was much needed because Phantom was weak the last week. Avalanche plus 19% in the last hour. Matic again pumping. Matic was, was pumping yesterday, two days ago. Matic is on a roll and I'm happy. It's not sexy, it's very undervalued. You will not find many YouTubers telling you about Matic because it's just it's just there all the time and doesn't move a lot. But we were holding it, and so congrats to you who did all this time be loyal to Matic. It was worth it, it's pumping. And there is more to come. Matic has now announced um, very important partnerships that I will cover later which are even more reason to hold. Um, I'm not even selling the profits right now because there is so much more coming for Matic. Curve is back up with 13%, even if, if um, its category um, is, is beaten down. Chainlink up 11% does not surprise me because it is so interoperable. It's, it's very resilient and loop ring has been um, on a pump now plus 32 percent in the last hours it has been uh, the one addition to our top 10 over the last two weeks and um, with good reason uh, seems validated chilis is adopting more and more the price is now at plus 14 percent in its recovery it might be something if we are if you are not in the metaverse space in the nft space yet it might be something worth considering right now uh, as an enter it's um, adding more and more so it has entered also the nft space and it's adding more and more teams juventus barcelona a lot of teams in there using chilis um, as their token on the socios network Wax is doing really really well back on track plus 18 percent um, right now and uh, we are gonna talk Wax uh, today uh, compound as usual if we go to the stocks we have Amazon and Google in the green Tesla as I told you wait for 950 900 to buy again uh, my limit order is at 850. I don't chase Tesla. I sold at 1,200. I will get back if it goes back to 850. I expect Tesla to be a 3,000 stock by 2025. So I keep relaxed. I let Tesla come to me. I don't chase assets. Square. We've been buying Square a lot over the last days and weeks at always better prices. Um, bullish just bullish right now minus uh, 88 basis points but absolutely bullish uh, same with paypal it was on a discount micro strategy still on a discount if you don't own micro strategy it's on a discount and i've been adding today riot because it was at 28 so i've been adding riot to my miners so i have now clean spark uh, hat and riot for the first time by the way because it was always overheated and now we have this current set my healthcare assets doing badly so far but they are expected to start much later now let's look at a couple of things 
um, some numbers. Metaverse numbers. We have Mana doing really well, and of our top 10, we have Mana Engine and Wax doing really well. Today, I want to tell you a little bit more about Wax because it is worth talking about. And as you can see, it's right now number 99 on the rank. It was 117 when we covered it the last time, then 100 just jumped to number 99. I see future for Wax and it is even a good entry point right now um, at, this, at this price. And um, as soon as, as it's over $1, I, I see it rolling. So I will tell you more about Wax. Engine, of course, is, is a good metaverse play. And as you know, we have been focused just on the DeFi space, decentralized finance, and ideally layer one solutions. Now, with the money flowing to the metaverse, we have started taking the metaverse seriously, but we don't go for the risky things. We don't buy any NFTs on this channel, we don't buy any land uh, on the central land or sandbox. We, we look for the picks and shovels. What is the low risk infrastructure play that we can have? One that we have picked is engine. We own also some mana, but one that we have picked is engine. Mana is high risk, uh, but engine I like because you cannot build this blockchain games and the NFTs without engine. So it's an infrastructure play, the foundation for everything. That's why I think it's a low risk, high reward situation there. And the same thing applies to Wax. I want to show you that in Metaverse, Wax is right now in this position. And if we click NFT, Wax is also there, a bit lower, but still playing with the big dogs here in the NFT play. And why this? Let's go to our checklist. What is actually Wax? The ticker is Wax P. It's around since 2017. So if we think of the team, I like the team. It's around a lot. So we have some velocity and growth rate. It's around since 2017. So it's invalidated. And um, as you know, this is the Lindy effect. The longer you are around in an emerging, emerging dynamic context. So the longer you're around in blockchain, the, long, the higher the probability you will be around one round more. So that's green. Also, I like the team a lot. Uh, it's one of the founders is William Quigley, who I have the chance to meet in a Zoom regularly, weekly, because we are in a, in a network together uh, where we share masterclasses. And um, he knows how to deliver. He's a smart, humble, future-oriented, very strategic person with a background in venture capital. He really understands business and economy and macro. And he's been early in the gaming sector and early in the NFT sector since 2017. And now he starts to collect the fruits of all of these years of being there. Um, recently, there has been the NFT New York City event. It was the biggest NFT event ever, and it was the second biggest crypto conference ever, with 5,000 people in New York. And he was the, the superstar there. 40 people wanted to have a picture with him. He, he told us it was more like Comic-Con than like a congress. And so there is reason to trust this team I do so a green for the team community I went into their discord channel because I wanted to see okay I know William this is William I don't know his co-founder so you can you can study a little bit William here to find out uh, if you can trust uh, this team uh, but I went also into their discord channel so what's the What's the community and how strong it is, how active is the community? Look at this, 77, 810, 77,810 people 
in the Discord community, super active, and announcements all the time, people excited about the announcements, uh, games really being played. I'm not excited when I see these games, but I'm not a gamer. Uh, but I don't have to be excited. I see that the market is excited. That's enough to see network effects there. And network effects, as you know, make it hard to not succeed. So that one is also green. The community, strong. Then technical analysis, highly underrated. It's now at half a dollar today. And I think everything below a dollar is a good entry point. Then we have um, as an asset class, it is of course at risk, that would be a yellow, but it's fine. It's really a low risk play if you ask me, because the problem that it solves, it just, it does only one thing, it's a layer one blockchain. And it does only focus on gaming and on NFTs. And so it's extremely focused, it's really well, it has um, cooperations with big brands and um, some of them being Atari and um, and some of them being AMD right now so strong and um, decentralized enough in terms of the network effects competition risk yes there is competition of course that's a yellow and um, but it's a two-sided marketplace at least two-sided, right? So there are enough mechanisms to defend. There is a moat there, and they're building since 2017. And um, it, there is competition, but it's also not that easy to take their market share right now. They are taking market shares and moving upward. Inflation risk, deflationary. I didn't look so much into the tokenomics. I will do that later on now that there are so many reasons I will look more profoundly into the tokenomics and um, so far this is uh, works as I see it what else did I want to share today with you if we look oh yeah riot so I told you that I added to my miners uh, riot which is a new entry I was with CleanSpark and with Hard8 over the last months and um, I saw that Riot blockchain right now is at pre-market 29.16 it has this is the hourly view if you go to the four hours the RSI is 33 which I really like if we go to the week as a comparison RSI is 33 and if we go to the hour I mostly start with the four hours but then I also double check before I take any decisions the hour and the week and this here on the hour RSI 33 below, touching the the lower Bollinger Band it will probably uh, when the market opens, start with 29.16, and that's a limit order that I have set today for Riot. So I have one more uh, miner company, a, a US miner company, in my stocks portfolio. And um, hope that helps. Let me know what you need moving forward, and uh, keep rolling, everybody.